In this video traders, we're gonna look at signs that a stock might be a good short. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to your case. Okay, so from the Stock Market Wizards book by Jack Schwager, recommend all of the Market Wizards series. Stock Market Wizards, Dana Glantz, I think I pronounced that correct, I might have butchered it, but she has given some signs that a stock might be a good short. So these are 10 rules or 10 things to look at if you're thinking of becoming a short seller. You wanna do a bear raid on this stock, you want to short this over a longer period of time. This is something that's gonna play out over time as opposed to a day trade, swing trade, maybe longer, you're trying to identify a stock that's overpriced, overvalued, and potentially could be a nice short trade. Okay, let's go start number one. Number one is high receivables. So in other words, they've got a large outstanding bill for goods or services. That's a red flag number one in her list. Number two, change of accountants. Pretty self-explanatory, I think, with this one. If an accountant says, I don't want to touch this thing with a barge pole, I want to move on, perhaps it's being asked to do something they don't really want to do, or perhaps they've seen something they don't like. The point is they've gone, hey, I don't want to get involved in this, no change of accountants. Of course, the PR is going to say we've done this because of this, this, and this, and this, and it's going to look all very nice, but underlying thing is the accountant doesn't want to lose the business, but they've lost the business. Why have they lost the business? Why have they changed accountants? A big thing to do without reason to do it. All right, number three, high turnover in chief financial officers. Same kind of thing. The chief financial officer is looking at saying, I do not like the look of what's going on here. We look vulnerable. I don't want to be on this sinking ship. I'm out of here. I'm going to another company. You might get another one coming in, sees the same thing. So you've got that high turnover. This could be a red flag that this company is potentially a good short, especially the change accountants. So you've got high receivables. Okay, number four. The company will blame short sellers for the decline. So they'll come out with a press release and say, hey, we think the short sellers are causing the decline in stock. When ultimately, you know, very rarely does that ultimately the case. The case normally for a decline in stock is that people don't want to buy the thing. Yes, short sellers might be exaggerating and selling it, but if it's a good value stock, you can have as many short sellers in the world, but if people are buying it because they believe it's a good investment, they're going to clear short sellers out. We've seen loads of examples, guys, with, with st stocks that have absolutely ripped the faces off shorts. They've gone many, many multiples higher. Short sellers have been very, very aggressive on it, but ultimately it has no use to it. So that is complete nonsense. If someone comes out and says that, another red flag. All right, number five, changing the business model to the latest trend. We've seen this a lot with blockchain, uh, in the blockchain boom. Companies were changing their name to blockchain, saying they're gonna get involved in it just to get on the hype. Hey, that's a big warning. If you're changing your business model, then you're kind of, you're, you're removing the whole reason why you're profitable. Surely the business you've got is the business you've got for a reason. That's why you're making money. You don't see Coca-Cola all of a sudden saying, hey, you know what? We're gonna suddenly go into selling sofas. Uh, it, it doesn't make any sense. They've built the business and profitability from that. Now, of course, big businesses do branch off into other things and other streams of income they add on, but they generally don't discard their big, mod their big model unless they're having to really revolutionize based on trends, like going from physical media to online, media or what have you. You get the point. We're generalizing here, but the point is when people are shifting business models, especially to the hot latest thing, that's a big red flag and a big warning as well. It basically means why are they are doing it? Because they're not making any money from that and they think they're going to make some money from this or they're trying to boost the stock price. Either way, we don't want to be long. M6, very high uh, price to earnings ratio, a bit of red flag as well. If it's stupidly high, we need to keep an eye on that one. Number seven, a catalyst that makes the stock vulnerable. This is one of my favorite ones is, hey, shorts are very, all very well and good, and it's well, all very well and good looking at this kind of stuff, but you need that catalyst in my opinion. And if you see a catalyst that makes that stock vulnerable, something that comes out and says, hey, you know what? The debt's due, we've got a court case here, we've got this, we've got that, some kind of catalyst that's gonna cause that tip and gonna cause the tip in supply demand so that everyone who's an investor is gonna pull the plug and all the short sellers gonna get aggressive, causing that double pressure on it. That is something to look for. And it's interesting that she said, said the same thing. Okay, number eight. Uptrend has stalled or reversed. So in other words, hey, the market's pushed on and on and on. It's starting to reverse, it's starting to come down. It's not such a darling stock anymore. The, the, the kind of story's wearing off. Bit of a technical thing to look out for there. Another technical thing to look out for, number nine, is breaking below the 50-day moving average. So the 50-day moving average, big technical thing, line in the sand. Lots of traders like to look at that. If we're breaking below that, the stock might well be broken. Of course, the biggest sector could be weak, 
But another technical thing, come from the uptrend, going below the 50 day, technical reason, you've got the fundamental reasons in there, you might be looking at a good short candidate. And number 10, high price single product company with a low barrier to entry. This is a more fundamental aspect. If they're producing something that's got a very high margin, but again, the barrier to entry is very low, not preventing any other competitors coming in and saying, hey, we can produce that cheaply better and it doesn't cost as much to get on board, they are very vulnerable. Maybe they were first to market and that's their first jump, but now, hey, if it's a high price ticket and someone else has come in and see there's a massive, they've been pioneers and create a market for it, someone else comes in with more money, low barrier to entry, sets it up better, sets it up cheaper, these guys are only gonna be riding on their brand, which okay, but makes them very, very vulnerable. All right, guys, there's 10 signs of stock might be a good short. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you wanna add any more to those. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.